Ladies and gentlemen, this got to be one of the greatest comebacks in high school football history. It was a battle between two undefeated football teams as Nevada's Bishop Gorman went on the road to take on Arizona's Hamilton High School. Straight out the gate, Hamilton had led 7-0, but Bishop Gorman came firing back. Then in a complete shift of momentum, it appears that Hamilton forgot how to play football as they could not move the ball at all. A three and out led to a Bishop Gorman field goal that gave them the lead. Bishop Gorman might as well change their team name to the Aaron Burrs the way they were handling Hamilton in this duel. A near safe put them up five. On the ensuing drive, a routine quarterback draw left the runner untouched like artichoke pizza during third period. A stalemate in the third quarter did no favors for Hamilton because they still couldn't figure out how to use their controller. Look at the lack of effort ankles and spirits being taken on national television. Legend has it Michael Jordan witnessed this cornerback being taken advantage of wearing his jersey number and personally would like to see a switch expeditiously. That's all I needed for him to do that and it, it became personal with me. 24 unanswered points and if you know high school football with five minutes left to play in a three possession game and you throw an interception you might as well take the L out of lover. This game is over brother. Hamilton came out here with a 7-0 lead disgraced their home crowd, embarrassed themselves, and if I was a betting man, I'd put all dollars on Bishop walking away with the victory. But what if I told you what happens next is something that you could have never even fathomed? In fact, it's one of the reasons why you don't place bets prematurely. You place them responsibly. Let me introduce you to Bounty Sports. They've created a pick'em style fantasy sports platform that's completely leveled the playing field. Anybody can win. They have contests as low as a dollar, and all you've got to do is just pick who you think is going to win each matchup, and you receive a point for every single pick you get correct. Just pick the teams you think going to win, compete against other fans, and win cash prizes. And it's week 17, so we got to close out this year with magnificent picks and open up 2020 with nothing but W's. First and foremost, Miami Dolphins taking on the Titans. The Dolphins won seven straight, but I think that ends in Tennessee. Crack open some whiskey. Tennessee going to be drinking in the name of victory. The Patriots going to bounce back after losing two straight against Jacksonville. Jacksonville absolutely sucks. Chicago over the Giants. I will never choose the Giants to win a football game. Kansas City is going to stop the Bengals, and Lord, I hope they do because I'm a Pittsburgh Steeler fan. Tampa Bay is going to destroy the Jets. We know Tom Brady owns that franchise. New Orleans Saints, Carolina Panthers. The Panthers have not won with Cam as the starter. I have no faith in them. Give me New Orleans. Buffalo against Atlanta. Hell, let's throw out a wild card. Give me Atlanta to win on the road. Please don't let me down. Indianapolis taking on Las Vegas. Indianapolis is rolling. I think that continues. Eagles taking on the Washington football team. The football team has been abysmal. Give me the Eagles. San Francisco going to destroy the Texans. Denver Broncos. Los Angeles Chargers. There's no Teddy. Only Drew Locksmith who does nothing but lock away W's. That does not get retrieved so give me the charges rams against baltimore i have no faith in baltimore at this particular point give me the rams seattle over detroit arizona hasn't been the same since they lost d hop give me the cowboys to win at home and green bay is going to take care and get redemption over the vikings lock me in for four dollars so what are you waiting for head over to bounty sports right now use referral code adonis and you'll receive a free five dollar credit no deposit needed you do it fast enough you might just mess around and compete against me so again head over to Bounty Sports. Use referral code Adonis. You'll receive a free $5 credit. No deposit needed. May the odds ever be in your favor. With two minutes left, already inside Bishop Gorman territory. Nobody's blocking. Holy shit! Oh, you thought this was a redemption story. No, nothing would change. Feeling disgraced, rather than go for it on fourth down, Hamilton would have to settle for a 46-yard field goal to cut their deficit down to 14 with under 70 seconds left to play. And despite it being a two-possession game, we all know how this story ends. Who recovers onside kicks? We do. We do. Wait a minute, where's that music coming from? Hamilton recovered it? Like Spider-Man once said in an episode of Family Guy, everybody gets one. So if you're Bishop Gorman, there's nothing to worry about. There's under a minute left to play. You're leading by two scores. There's no way you'll blow this lead, right? You've dominated the entire game. Madden cards and cheat codes don't exist, and there's not enough time remaining for them to come back. Moreover, you're from Arizona, not Atlanta. You guys don't blow leads out there, unless you're the Phoenix Suns, but we're not talking about that right now. Give me your ankles! 
stupid? Did he just break a tackle and take the football down to the one yard line? To make matters worse, Hamilton still had two timeouts remaining, so they'd be able to stop the clock on a first and goal. But on the very next play, all hopes and dreams of a comeback would be put to rest, as Bishop Gorman would take the. Shut the fuck up, you cunt! I guess not. <laughs> Uh, um, ha ha Hamilton, Hamilton just scored. That's 10 points in 45 seconds. But take a look at the clock. There's 29 seconds remaining. There's no way Bishop Gorman would blow this lead. That'd be absolutely ridiculous. Only a madman would think Hamilton can recover another onside kick. There's nine guys up there. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. He did it again! Is this real life? Hamilton recovered back-to-back -back onside kicks? They gave up 24 unanswered points. They hadn't scored since the cameras came on. And suddenly they know how to play football with under a minute 30 left to play? This is too good to be true. Me thinks not. They moving the football down the field like the defense not even there. To make matters worse, they still got a timeout remaining. What is Bishop Gordon doing? Either somebody turned the game sliders up or this is a blowjob you can't even find on OnlyFans. Under 15 seconds left to play. Hamilton has the football over the middle. God damn man goes into the end zone for the score. What the fuck? I cannot believe it. 16 points in a little bit over a minute. Hamilton scored so much in such little time, the football game might be pregnant. When there was three minutes left to play, Bishop Gorman must have thought the game was over and their football spirit hopped on the next flight back to Nevada. And much to their dismay, Hamilton's coaching staff graduated from John Harbaugh University of Coaching. Why kick an extra point and try to go to overtime when you can win it on a two-point conversion? Hamilton with an opportunity to score 18 points in 66 seconds as they would reach into their pockets, take out their Uno cards, and give Bishop Gorman two for their mistakes! They take the lead with eight seconds left to play! Oh, what the hell's going on out here? Hamilton took their receipt to the sperm bank and got their comeback! I have never seen a comeback this quick and ferocious in my entire life! Bishop Gorman had the game in the checkout, and Hamilton cleared their car. Just look at the difference in emotion on the sideline. Hamilton is jubilant. Bishop Gorman can't even breathe. Hamilton's quarterback is out of breath, unable to stand up after the amount of defecation that he produced on top of Bishop Gorman's defense. He took a shit on the entire state of Nevada. When the players dressed in white and blue go home to their families, they're going to smell like his fecal matter. With one second left to play, Bishop Gorman's gonna need a miracle. They're gonna go for the routine hook and ladder, but for whatever reason, number one thinks he can do it by himself. 23 would get redemption, recover the fumble, and this game is over! Imagine leading 24 to 7 with a minute 14 left to play, and you lose. This is a type of villain backstory you can only find in a Marvel comic. Nobody on Bishop Gorman's sideline can even take the field because they're all befuddled, bewildered at what Transpired. It took them 26 minutes to process and register what just happened so they can congratulate their opponents on a huge comeback. But once they made it to the locker room, all you heard was... Fight back, nigga! After losing like this, I can't imagine what the trip back to Nevada was like for Bishop Gorman. In fact, nobody should board a flight, get on a train, get on a bus. Y'all walking home. Everybody want to be a bishop until you no longer playing chess. Because for Bishop Gorman, they went directly and diagonally straight into the L train. You lose. Failure. Oh, what, son? I'll pound you so hard there'll be nothing left of you. <laughs> That's it, huh? Make your dreams come true. Just do it.